understand that an MRI does not actually change the physical tissue in your body. And what I mean by that is if you've, if you felt something in your elbow, you felt something in your shoulder, your hamstring, your back, the moment that you felt that is when it happened. The MRI is not the moment when it happens. The MRI is a picture or an image that gives you a label that can be given a label to what that pain that you felt is. But your body is already presenting and feeling and operating in that way because the injury already happened. And so I think what happens is a lot of times guys want to wait until they get their MRI to see what it is that, that they should do. Understand how much of a distrust that is in your own body, in, in, in your own system. Because you can already feel, as soon as it happens, you can feel what's going on. You can feel what's happening. You can feel the injury and what happened. The MRI does nothing except show a picture of that, but you're already operating with the injury, right? And so when we're looking at, do, should you get an MRI? Should you not get an MRI? Do I need to wait? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Sure, an MRI can be beneficial in the sense of giving you a picture of it so that we know what it is, but at the same time, your body already knows what it is as soon as the injury happens because you are walking in your body and your body is using it right then and there, right? So if we understand how to use sensation, we understand how to use feedback from your body to, to determine how we train and how we operate, then we can start to do things immediately after that happens, whether you decide to get an MRI or not.